Milwaukee just announced a new quad battery monster. Rigid launched a very big impact wrench. We got hands on with Milwaukee's new boots. We have hand tools, cutoff saws, hammer drill head to heads, job site radios, and more. Plus, we got a new platinum tool deal from Ohio Power Tools that can get you up to half off Diablo. This is The Tool Show. Welcome back, Tool fans. I'm Sarah. That's Rob. And our first Power Tool news of the week comes from Rigid. That is the all-new Rigid R8631 2B 18-volt brushless 4-mode 3-quarter inch high-torque impact wrench. It delivers 900 foot-pounds of fastening torque and a hefty 1,300 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. It has three speeds in an auto-tightening mode that will automatically stop to prevent over-tightening. In reverse, it'll also stop when it breaks loose a nut so it won't go flying across the room. It has a 3-quarter inch anvil with friction ring, an LED light, and die-cast gearbox for increased durability. You'll be able to Pick one up at Home Depot in March for $279 barrel and a protective rubber boot for $44. Milwaukee had a pair of exciting new tools to launch this week, one of which is sporting four batteries, which is a first for Milwaukee. But before we get to that, we're going to take a look at their all-new M18 fuel blower. It boasts 500 CFM at 120 miles an hour, but at a super quiet 54 decibels. It's very light at only 5.1 pounds, has a variable speed lock, and for the first time, you can purchase a gutter or angled flare attachment. The new blower is coming in March and will cost 179 bare. The angled flare attachment is 1497, and the eight foot gutter attachment ringing up at 7997. But the big news, and I do mean big, is their new M18 fuel dual battery backpack blower that Milwaukee definitely doesn't want me referring to as M36, even though it uses two batteries to run at 36 volts. But that's not the big kicker. To improve runtime, it actually has four active battery slots on the back, and the thing comes with four 12 amp hour M18 high output batteries. They're clearly going after pro landscapers who often need to run these things for a long time. It claims to match the power of a 60cc gas blower, pushing 650 CFM at 155 miles an hour. They're also highlighting the fact that it can get up to full speed in less than a second, just like their M18 mower. So big blower, but back to those batteries, their press release didn't mention runtime. And when I asked them for that detail, they didn't get back to me in time for the show. If we hear from them by next week, I'll be sure to update you. This is going to be available in April and the pricing is predictably as big as the blower. In a kit with four, that's one, two, three, four of those massive lunchbox size 12 amp hour batteries, you're looking at $1,499. Unlike the M18 mower, you can actually buy this thing bare for only $499. So if you already have four of those batteries, the whole setup is much more affordable. Klein announced an expansion of their PPE lineup with face shields for hard hats and safety helmets. They offer five distinct models, including clear and gray tint for safety helmets and cap style hats, clear and gray tint for full brim hard hats, and mesh face shields that arborists are likely to love thanks to the great protection and uncompromised airflow. The new shields are available now, running from $29 to $39. Bucks. All right, back me up here, guys. We've all thrown our wallets in the trash accidentally. That is not normal. Oh, I've done it like twice. Oh, I know. I'm I'm the one that pulled him out of the trash. And I'm still grateful, Sarah. After finding his wallet in the trash twice, Rob eventually did do something about it. Yep, six years ago, I bought an extra wallet, this one, actually, and I've been a huge fan ever since. It's an ultra compact card carrier with an ingenious mechanical button that fans out the six cards you use most with a strap for cash on the back and a slot for a solar power tracker. Exter recently reached out to see if we would like to try some of their updated models. And I said, yes, yes, please, yes. <laughs> they not only sent over this beautiful aluminum card holder that can hold up to 12 cards in this tiny little mine. format. This, is, this one's mine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they also sent their parliament wallets with this beautiful limited edition Italian leather. It is the softest leather I have ever felt. All of their wallets come in a variety of colors and materials. This one includes a fold that holds additional cash or cards. But both of these have the same mechanical card fanning feature and both come with a solar tracker as well. This little card has a tiny solar panel on one side and just three hours of solar charge last two months. Yeah, I usually just toss mine on the dash when I drive to charge it. The tracker is tied to our phones and allows us to ping our wallets with our phones. Or our phones with our wallets. So now I can safely throw away either one. Please don't do that. Both wallets have built-in RFID blocking to fend off data skimming, and at their core, they're forged from space-grade 6061 T6 aluminum, which is probably why my six-year-old model is still working great. So I guess that means you don't actually need yeah, that Yeah, wrong. One. This, this one is just <laughs> way, way prettier. 
Exer isn't just known for making the world's smartest wallet, they're also known for making the smartest accessories. It's pretty cool how their solar tracker and their phone can talk, right? Well, they also offer this key tracker. It fits on your keychain and acts just like the solar tracker. So now I can lose any two of those things and still find them with the third. Right. They also sell this leather and steel key case that could hold from two to eight keys, keeping them from making any noise in your pocket. Well, that's going to disappoint my cats. Because, you know, I shake my, my keys. Never mind. And the last accessory that sent us was this awesome credit card shaped multi tool. Now, no. It's not M18, it's not battery powered, but it is made of 304 stainless steel and features five wrenches, a phone stand, a flathead screwdriver, a SIM card pin, a box opener, a bottle opener, and a metric and inch ruler. I've had my wallet for just about a week and I'm already obsessed, but I've watched Rob use his for six years now and quite frankly, he won't shut up about it. I have a cool wallet. Yes, you do. So if you're looking for a new wallet or just want to stop losing the one you have, we can't recommend extra enough. Now they're currently celebrating their anniversary with this huge 20% off sale. But if you go to their website and enter the code TOOLSHOW when you check out, you'll actually get 25% off instead. And if you use our affiliate link, you'll be helping out Sarah and I as well. We'll put the link in the description. I feel like people are going to watch that segment and think that I made up the part about you throwing away your wallet two times. That's actually 100% true. How did you ever function without me? Yeah, I didn't. So you're all familiar with Milwaukee's pipeline event, right? Every year, Sarah and I head out to Milwaukee with a couple dozen friends, and we live stream the launch of hundreds of new Milwaukee tools. What you may not know is that Milwaukee EU has their own pipeline event, and this year they showed off something Milwaukee USA won't even acknowledge exists. Yep, those are the all new Milwaukee work boots. And while Sarah and I weren't invited, one of our buddies in the UK was. And to give us his hands-on experience with the new shoes, joining us live by telematic, satellitic, transoceanic, communicational convergence, it's James from Machinery Nation. Hey, James. Oh, hi, Rob. Hi, Sarah. Sorry, you just caught me polishing my helmet. Well, that's gross. So, James, you had the privilege of attending the European Milwaukee Pipeline in Sweden. How cool was that? Oh, it was absolutely amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Couldn't believe the event is so big, it's so amazing. The new tools, the entertainment is great. I know you guys get to see a lot more of the equipment before we do generally, but to see it hands-on and there in the flesh was just pure amazing. The biggest surprise to those of us over here on this side of the pond has to be the new Milwaukee shoes, of course. The boots look pretty much exactly as I would expect them to coming from Milwaukee, but I'll be honest, I don't know what to expect in comfort from a company that claims nothing but heavy duty. I know you would think they'd be heavy, but they're not. They're light, they look comfortable. Everything about them is very Milwaukee, I'll agree but they just look the part, and I think they're gonna be a popular addition to the Milwaukee range. Did the shoes have any distinct features? They did, obviously, very Milwaukee branded and being red and black, and I'm a big fan of the red and black, hence the shirt. But they've also got the boa ties on them, so you can, instead of having to tie a bow like a shoelace, you've got a little wheel you can turn to be able to tighten up your laces. Sarah and I actually both had that boa system on our motorcycle boots, and we love them. I was pretty excited to see them on the Milwaukee's. So they look heavy duty, but how did they feel on your feet? Unfortunately, we didn't get to try them on. They were there just for hands-on. And being that I'm a size 12 here in the UK, which I think is about size 14 for you guys, generally, as we all know, when you go into a shoe shop, no one ever has size 12. But the good news is, Milwaukee are bringing out shoes from size 3 to size 14. Oh yes, that is a big, big range. Wait a minute, you didn't wear the shoes? Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to wear them. They were just there for hands-on. I asked you to come on the show to tell us what the shoes were like. I gave you hands-on, Rob. What more can you expect? He's technically right. You did ask him for a hands-on impression. Thanks, Sarah. You bet. How's the fam, James? Uh, they are great. Thank you, Sarah. We're settling into our new property. We're now full-time content creators, and we're really enjoying it. How's things with you? Wait, wasn't I conducting the interview? We're doing great. Thank you. I greatly appreciate you sharing your hands-on review, James, and hope to talk Talk to you again soon. It's been a great chance to come on the show. Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you soon. Cheerio! Wait. You can catch James every week on Machinery Nation right here on YouTube. Moving on to our favorite videos of the week, starting with Tools and Stuff, who decided to put Milwaukee's Gen 3 up against its newer Gen 4 brother to see if the new high torque impact wrench is worth the upgrade. James wasn't just busy at Pipeline last week, he also took the time to test the new Milwaukee M18 FHET hedge trimmer. 
Tim Johnson decided to spend some time outdoors with Milwaukee as well, testing out the new telescoping pole pruning shears over at Shop Tool Reviews. Pro Tool Reviews took two of the biggest baddies among our favorite hammer drills to see if Flex or Makita has the bite to back up their bark. Tools Tested was testing tools again, this time looking for the best cordless cutoff tool. He includes examples from Makita, Metabo, and Craftsman. Zach over at Last Best Tool decided to get out all of his treasure Knipix hand tools and list off five that he grabs most over other brands. Once again, the torque testing trio over the Torque Test channel got a hold of a new Makita Impact that hasn't been updated for a decade. Although on their thumbnail, they chose to depict Makita from 10 years ago with Ali Mello as Miss Makita. And that's not entirely accurate. She was Miss Makita in 2016, just eight years ago. I know that because I did this. Thank you. This you stuff got it. frees me up to get some stuff Anything done. Anything for you. Thank you. <laughs> this is actually very normal. It happens all the time. Look, Allie was actually a very lovely person. Sarah and I really enjoyed working with her. But yeah, that was a different time, okay? Oh, the Makita Impact the TTC was testing was, well, let's just say not what they were expecting. You should go take a look. And last of all, Mark Thomas is rocking out this week with his new Milwaukee M18 AM FM job site radio. What surprised me most was to find out that there's still AM FM radio stations. It's crazy. All right, let's get on to our Platinum Tool Deal of the Week. Every week, we team up with the Pro Tool Pros at OhioPowerTool.com to give 25 lucky users a coupon code that gives you access to easily the best tool deal of the week. And this week, it's for anything from Diablo. Yep, all you have to do is buy $100 worth of Diablo blades or accessories and our code will get you $50 off. But be quick, the code only works for the first 25 people who use it. The code you need this week is TS61029. Good luck. I want to thank EgoScale, Ohio Power Tool, and Tested HQ for continuing to support our show and our community of tool fans. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend and Sarah and I will see you next week.